I want to do a little bit of practice with Siamese Mahjong. So I thought I would do some random pulls and bring you along. Make sure I get that rack in there. Okay, so I am going to grab, we're just going to pretend like I'm East. So I'm going to get a random 28 tiles. Here's 13. And now I need 15. So let me see if I have enough here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm short one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times four is 28. So now we have enough tiles. All right, so the way I like to do this is I put my jokers, flowers, winds and dragons on the top rack or the back rack. If you have two uh, regular racks you're just going to set them up you know one in front of the other and use the racks like this I have a link below for where to get these Siamese racks they're definitely helpful I think all right so I'm going to put jokers flowers winds dragons and cracks on the top So here's what we we're starting with here. So I am going to look at where are my multiples. I do have a couple of jokers, which is nice. I have a pair of flowers, a pair of dragons. Here's a pair of three cracks, two dot, three dot. Okay, so let's see here. I am thinking of a pair hand, first of all, two and three with flowers. So there's my first option. You see all that? Two consecutive numbers in three suits. There's option one. So the second option, I'm gonna use dragons. What about, let's see, we have a pair of green. So I want to make sure um, that I'm going to use those green dragons. Let's see. We could do five, seven, seven, nine with opposite dragons. And of course these. So let's count. That's five for that five, seven, seven, nine dragon hand. Let me look and see where that is. That's going to be the third one down under odds. I think there's going to be a better option. I try to have eight discards. So since I have 10, I think there's a better option. So let's look. What about north and south? North and south with dragons. So that's one better. See here now I have eight. Another thing that we could do... You might think, well, what about consecutive with the dragons? But you got to use flowers. Anytime you're building hands, you want to try not to have overlap between your hands. And if you need flowers in both hands, that's going to be a little hard to do. So because I'm using flowers here, unless I have a lot to begin with, I would not try for a hand with flowers for the second option. Another thing that we could do though is maybe a 2017 hand. 
So we have a plan A and a plan B for the second option. We have dragons with north and south, and there are six towards that hand. And then we have a 2017 with dragons, which is the second one down. Now that does use two flowers. So I would say that is gonna be a plan B. Let's see, I wonder if there's another situation that we could do here. I'm gonna second guess this because what about the big hand? Oh, we don't need the two. The big hand under pairs. So here's what it would look like at the moment. And then we could use two, three, three, two, three, hmm. Yeah, look, that, that leaves us with 12 tiles. So I think the big hand is gonna have to come at another time even though we have all those um, dragons, this pair hand, we are one, two, th two, three. We're three tiles from winning that hand. I think that that is a definite um, option for that hand there. So, the options here would be north and south with dragons, five, let's see, what did I say? I said, um, oh yeah, five, seven, seven, nine. What did I say, five, seven, seven, nine? With opposites, see this green dragon won't go with bams this year. So I think I said five, seven, seven, nine with the opposite dragon. Oh, so see, those would have to go away. Or we could do a consecutive with opposite dragons. Um, we'd need an eight crack though for that. So that's gonna be rough. So I would say north and south with dragons is a plan A. Five, seven, seven, nine with opposite dragon is a plan B and we have five discards. So I'd say that's a pretty good plan. We've got five discards. All right, let's do this again. So again, we're going to do 28 tiles. Let's see, four and four and six. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's our 28 tiles. If you group them in sets of four, then you can just multiply to make sure you have your 28 or 27. Okay, so let's see what we end up with here. We've got one joker this time one flower, here's a couple dragons, and a wind, here's another wind. And let's do dots and bams on the bottom, cracks on the top.
Okay, so multiples. Five, eight, six. So I'm thinking, oh, and twos. So let's do a two, four, six, eight. Let's see if we can make a hand here with two, four, six, eight. We'll just look at all of the two, four, six, eights. And we could maybe even use that actually with all these multiples. Let's see here. Two, four, six, eight with the flower, the concealed hand on the bottom of the two, four, six, eight category. Let's see how this works out. We we would need that because we're, I mean, that's still eight towards that hand. That's not too bad. So we're left with quite a few tiles up here, though. And I can, around this five crack, we can do consecutive. Anytime you work with consecutive and mixed suits, you want to pick four numbers in a range around your multiples. So the multiple is the five crack. So we can grab two, three, four, five. So we have six. That's pretty bad. Let's see about a four, five, six, seven, or two, let's see, three, four, five, six. So three, four, five, six. Oops. So there's the three, four, five, six. So we're left with 10 tiles for discarding. I think there's a better option. I like to get around eight tiles for discarding. What about five, seven, seven, nine for an option here? Or the one, three, five. No, nope, that's not going to work either. So this one is worse. That's 11 tiles off for five, seven, seven, nine. I think we're better off to do, what about four, five, six, seven? Six. Let's see, three, four. We'll do three, four, five, six again here. Three, four, five, six. It's seven, so that's a little bit better. Three, four, five, six. Let's see, what about one, three, five? There's seven. Oh, no. Six. So three, four, five, six is the best so far. And you really don't care where everything lies at the moment. Anytime you have discards, you do not really have to pick a hand. Now there is that one, three, three, five with dragons. Let's see if we've got that one. That's the third one down. If we did one, three, three, five, one, three, and of course we don't have a three crack, so maybe we could use that. One, three, three, five, dragon, that's six. So that's not helpful. What about four, five, six with mismatched dragons? Okay, so that's six. Four, five, six with mismatched dragons. Three, four, oh boy, okay. Well, I think consecutive is gonna be what we're gonna go for. We just don't know which one yet. So if we kept all our three, four, five, six, and the dragons, then here we're left with 11. Oh, we can keep the six to help us with a three, four, five, six. So now we have 10. And I think that's the best that we can do. Um, uh, let's see here. This is not easy. You know, I hear people tell me, Siamese Mahjong is too easy. It's too easy to get a hand. 
but you know what? I don't think so. This is hard. It took me quite a while to get to this point with this particular situation. I think that it really takes some brain power to play two hands at one time and really plan the best set of tiles for your allotment of tiles before the pick and discard. And then, of course, picking and discarding will help. But getting to this point really takes a lot of um, thought process. I would say I would keep the sevens because we could do four, five, six, seven as a plan B. It's still consecutive. We just have a really wide range. Three through seven, that's pretty a pretty wide range. I would not normally recommend that, but that puts us down to eight tiles and it gives us a big range of tiles to work with depending on how we draw. All right, that's, that's what I would do for these situations. So I would do the 2468 concealed hand and last one under evens and then consecutive category for this one back here and we have no idea which hand it's gonna be. We just gotta pick and discard and it'll become clear later, hopefully. We'll do this one more time. Four, four, and six in the middle for the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, we need two more. Because you need you need um, seven sets of four, which equals 28. And since we're the dealer, we need 28 tiles. So let's see how this one ends up here. Hopefully there's not too much glare on there. I'm still trying to learn how to get the best lighting for this type of activity. So bear with me as I figure that out. All right, so we have flower, winds, dragons. Here's another wind. Then we'll put, I just like to put cracks on top. You can set it up however you want. I'll put bands on the bottom. We just want to make sure that there's room for everything. And usually if you put Winds and Dragons with one suit on top, there's usually enough room for everything. So here's our, our uh, starting lineup. Let's look for multiples. We've got Wes, Reds, Eights, One, Six, Four. So definitely a two, four, six, eight. I'm thinking a two, four, six, eight, and then maybe a year. So let's see how that would work. There's two, four, six, eight. We could do even two, four, four, six, eight. Yep, here it is. Two, four, six, eight. 
24468 that uses all the multiples. But we don't really have to decide right away. We can just hold on to these. There is also that pair hand, but we would have to throw away two of those tiles because you only need singles of the four and the six, and that would be the pair hand, the fourth one down under singles and pairs. So I'm thinking the two, four, six, eight for the first one, and then for the second one, I think this is gonna have to be joker bait, the west. And I think for the second option, a year category or like numbers, well, maybe not like numbers because we need the one band to make like numbers work. But there is, let's see here. How could we use the dragons with these ones? The dragons that you want to use your multiples. So ones and reds, ones and reds. We could do, nope. I was thinking one, three, three, five, but the dragons are opposite for that particular hand. That's the, the um, third from the top under odds. So if we did, we could do a year category here with opposite dragons. And then just commit to the two, four, six, eight hand that frees this up. Let's see how many tiles we're left with if we do that. 11. I think there's a better situation. Leave our options open down here for two, four, six, eight. As far as the dragons, um, what about east-west with dragons? And then we're left with, that's a little better, nine. We're left with nine if we do east and west with dragons. We could do five, seven, seven, nine with opposite dragons right here. And then this again would be joker bait. Okay, now you need the pairs for that hand. So that again is the second, third one down. Third one down and one, one, three, five, seven, nine. I don't think that's a good option. Uh, I don't wanna be left with needing a pair and not having any, that's a big gap. Let's see. We could do like numbers with and then hope we get some one bands in order to use these reds. So as a plan B, I would say keep the one, and that gives us seven discards. Since we're in Winds and Dragons, I'd keep the north too. We could keep the one as well and maybe do news with ones and use... the jokers down well let's see yeah the jokers down here you know what else we could do is a quint I don't know why I didn't think of that we could do a quint here let's see how many we're left with eight okay that's the next plan I would still keep these as a plan B this is plan B so here now we have uh, five discards that's a pretty good plan I think Quint for plan A here, two, four, six, eight category, and that we've got lots of options there. So five discards. Okay, that's category modeling for Siamese style for the National Mahjong League rules. Let me know what you think about that. Try it yourself. It really is a lot of fun, and it takes some brain work, I think. Um, and I don't think it's easy. I mean... Really, regular play can be easy if you're used to the decision making, it, as is any game. You know, the more you play, the better you get, the more confidence you have. So I don't think easy comes into play here, in my opinion. 
Tell me what you think. Do you think Siamese style is too easy? I, I don't think so. All right, listen, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. And then after you subscribe, the next time you come back in, click the bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. And maybe I'll see you at the next Siamese Mahjong random poll.